All right, in this quick video, what I'm gonna do is just go over how you can set up Recal Box on a Bar Top Arcade with a Raspberry Pi 3. So first off, what I'm going to do is just walk you through what I'm gonna go over today. Basically what I wanna do is turn on these joysticks and the keypads so it actually works. Uh, additionally, I wanna uh, enable the Wi-Fi settings and on top of that as well, I wanna show you how you can configure how to turn this little button here into an on-off switch. So, in order to do that, uh, we are first gonna start by clicking F4 on here. So, uh, once I've done that, you're gonna see this screen here, and then I'm just gonna do uh, Alt F2, and it's gonna take me to this screen right here. So let's just zoom into that right now. So, you'll see that I have uh, Recalbox login, and so what I'm gonna do is just type in root as the password, or the login, and the username is gonna be recalbox root. Then you're gonna see the little hash symbol, and my goal now is to then just type in nano recalbox.conf, and this is gonna allow me to access the configurator, or uh, file, config file. And so the first thing that I'll show you is uh, how we can go ahead and enable our Wi-Fi settings. And so we're just going to scroll down this list until we start to see network. And you'll see right here it says Wi-Fi enabled, it's set at zero. And I'm just going to turn that into one. So this is going to allow us to do quick updates uh, to connect to our Wi-Fi, and make things a lot easier so you're not bound by uh, an Ethernet cable. Um, the next thing we're going to do is we're going to roll down and we're going to see all the different types of controllers that are here. Uh, we can uh, enable uh, the Xbox controllers if we want, PS3, whatever type that we want. All we have to do is turn that from a zero to a one. But the one that we really want to change in order to get our joysticks and everything working is to change this zero to a one. Now, if you have one keypad, then right down here, you're going to want to make just that just a one. But because we have the two controllers, uh, two sets of controls, we're going to go one comma two. Um, the last step of this uh, is to enable our actual uh, push pin system. So up in here, uh, there were a bunch of different versions of it. Um, all I've really got to do is just remove the semicolon at the beginning of this, uh, and that's going to allow me to have a on-off switch functioning on my Raspberry Pi. And essentially what I've done is I've took the, and I'll just put this up here so you can see it, I've basically taken these two open ones here, that ground and the GPIO3, which is not being used, uh, within our system uh, and I've basically taken a push uh, button and I put my ground here and put the other uh, wire straight on that GPIO3. As soon as I remove that right there um, and I save this file, it's now going to recognize this as the on-off switch. So we're going to uh, restart this. In order to do that, we're just going to hit Control X to exit Y to save and then enter, and then now I'm just gonna do a quick little reboot of this. So while it's rebooting, I'm gonna back this up a bit, and I just wanna show you some of the work that we've done here. So underneath, the reason why we've gone with Recalbox and not RetroPi is that there is someone that did a driver for RetroPi uh, a few years ago, I think it was 2012, um, but they haven't updated it since. So if you're using an IPAC board where these GPIO lines are going directly into a board which then goes into the Pi, then you, you will be fine with RetroPi. But we're going straight into our Raspberry Pi. There's a map that I will include that will show you where each of these go and how each of these lines go in here. Ours looks significantly more messy because they haven't done any wire management. And because we have extra lines here, for all our LEDs, which I think makes a huge difference on this. So just keep that in mind. So I'm just gonna put this back in here real quick. Okay, so the last thing that we're gonna do is just map each of these controllers. So let's just zoom right in here. Take a look at the screen here. And basically all I'm gonna do here now is just gonna hit my start menu. And I just hit my start button to get that. Go to controller settings. And then as long as input one and two, you see GPIO controller, GPIO controller two, 
then you're, you're good to go. Now I can start to configure these if they're already in there. If not, you just go down here until you actually select the one that you want to have in there. So it, it sees the ones that are actually attached. So if we're good there, we'll go to configure a controller. And then I'm just going to hold down a button uh, on the actual keypad. And it'll see that it's uh, keypad one. I'm going to need my keyboard for this as well to make it a little bit easier so I can skip through things. So up, down, left, right. And to skip by these, I'm going to use my keyboard. Last time I'll need it. And then A, B, X, Y, my start and select, left and right, keyboard to go down. And then the hot key I'm going to set as my select button. So we'll just zoom out here for a sec. Uh, as you can see right here, we're going to select this one right down here. And uh, from there, what this is going to do is actually allow me to then uh, uh, back out of the uh, emulation, back out to the emulation station for many of the games. So let's go back in here. We'll do the same thing for controller two. We'll go up to configure the controller. Walk through the same process. Down, left, right. A, B, X, Y, start, select, left, right. And then my hotkey, because then we can do it from this person as well. And then we should be good to go. Uh, now I can just get back out of this. And out of this. Oh. And I can start playing my games and setting things up here. Uh, what I would do as well is go into each one of the games uh, and then go to your setup controls. Some of them are going to be different. Some of them to get to the menus and whatnot, you're going to click start button. Some you're going to click A. Uh, I might even get it go so far as to add in uh, little stickers underneath these here. So I know that this is A, B, X, Y, and then my, my toggle left and toggle right. Um, but that's, that's for another time. Uh, other than that, you're, you're basically all set up now. Uh, now that we've mapped everything out properly, if I want to go into a game, uh, I can just click on that. And if I want to get back out from any one of these games, um, if I'm just done and I want to, uh, you know, go home and or you know, whatever, then I can just uh, click this to turn it off, or I can back out by clicking on the start and select buttons, the hotkey at the same time. And then if I want to shut it off. I click my power button and I'm good to go. So that's how you would set up a recal box on RetroPie or a Raspberry Pi 3.